MCOMBU county we feel threatened koza ya ile mambo ambayo inaendelea tunajua alitana kwake kwa nyumba na governor alikuwa kwa hii mkutano ambao wakaugana hili waweze kumtoa speaker ambaye alitupea si tunataka kuambia serikali ijue maisha yetu wengi wetu iko kwa hatari na we are feeling threatened and uh, this country as a mechanism of how the elected members uh, can be protected by the state because we feel uh since of the matter we are rising like uh, uh myself i'm the chairman health when i say that we don't have very basic thing in a hospital there are people who are feeling threatened and uh, we believe that uh, we elected uh, honorable Martin Nyaga Wambora, not the wife. So we are telling the first lady of Embu County to keep off the politics of Embu. We are saying enough is enough. And we know she's kind of even threatening our speaker. In, in case of anything happen to the speaker, to myself, and to any other honorable member, the first lady of Embu County should be asked by the government. The first lady of this county Mama Teresia Wambora to keep off the government of Embu County. We will not take it lightly to continue the retaining our speaker, to continue the retaining members, to continue sending messages that we are not sure their meaning. Personally, I know she has texted me severally, but I'm not going to take it lightly. Let her keep off. We elected Martin Nyaga Wambora as the governor of Embu County, as the CEO. There is nowhere in the constitution, anywhere in the law, where the first lady of a county, uh, there is provision for her to take an active role in deciding the affairs of the county assembly. We also want to make it very clear to the people of Embu that the oversight is on top gear. No stone will be left unturned. Those cartels and those that want to Rob this county. We are telling them enough is enough. We are aware that governor is in, in his final term. He will no longer require our thoughts. As we are young people, we care about the future of our people, the, the future of our careers in political arena, and therefore will not allow any shenanigans and detolics and nothing sh uh, short of giving our people the best. It's very sad to find that for, for six years of devolution, from Kupu Kupu to Posta, Embu has not grown. There is no new building. There is no pavement. Eh? Since we came to devolution, we have received over 20 billion, but we cannot in our Embu headquarter even specify what has been done. And this is open. Somebody can go and look at Embu County, Embu, Embu, Embu Town. It's the way we met it well was what was done by the, the, the municipal council. So we are not ready to allow people to continue eating money. And when we raise these issues, people are running out of skelter. I know there are meetings. They just wanted to kushanga pesa eh, to curtail this. They are not going to curtail the assembly. And when they have found that the assembly now have gotten enlightened, they are hitting those areas. Now they started targeting the speaker. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm telling you very sorry. They are not going to touch the Rico. Here in the assembly, we are under the speaker and we are going to continue doing our oversight.